Hello everyone, this is Don with Mechsoft Support. Today we're going to be taking a look at Rhino 3D Print 2017. And we're going to show you how easy it is to generate G-code that you can send to your printer to create your 3D part. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're done there, so we can close that. Now, we have uh, a part that is ready to be printed. We have a support structure that's ready to be printed. It's within our printer volume. Uh, it's passed all the checks, so we're ready to uh, 3D print this part. Now, on the 3D print tab, uh, you have some different options. You can export the file to a, uh, an STL file or uh, another, a couple of other different options. Let's go ahead and show you that. Just select your meshes, right click, and you'll see that you can export it to an STL file or a stereolithography SLA file or an additive manufacturing AMF file. For now, we'll just pick an STL file and we have one there. We'll just go ahead and overwrite that. So we've exported it to an STL file. Now what we're going to do is since our printer supports G-code, we're going to actually generate a G-code file to send to our printer. So from the 3D print tab, we'll pick the generate G-code command. We'll select our meshes, right click, and this displays the generate G-code options dialog. Now there's a, quite a few parameters on this dialog. We won't go over them all, but I'll just tell you what we're going to use for this uh, guide. For the layer height, we're going to use 0 0.05. We're going to have one perimeter passes. We're going to uh, retract only between levels and we're going to automatically calculate the extrusion volume of the printer. We'll have the top two layers and the bottom two layers will be solid. And for the infill density, now this is a, uh, a closed volume part, so the entire part is going to be infilled. So for the density, we're going to use 50%. And for the fill angle, we're going to set it to 45. And for the top and bottom fill patterns, we're going to have a hatch pattern and for the middle fill pattern we'll have a hatch pattern. So let's generate. So it's going to calculate the G-code file and display it on the screen. Now pretty much it's difficult to see what's going on here. So what we have here is we have a command down on this toolbar down at the bottom that allows us to look at the G-code by layer. So pick that and the dialog will display that allows us to look at each level in the G-code file. So let's just scroll down through that and you can see as you select a level, let's just deselect the mesh so we can see this better. As you select the level, it highlights on the part. And if you zoom in here, you can see that this is our perimeter pass and this is our infill in here. And these are our transfer motions here. So let's just look at it real quick. We'll scroll on down and you can see each level. Now you can go in and inspect each one of these levels if you want to. So now that you're satisfied, once you're satisfied with the Z level display, you can close that. And we still haven't created the G-code file yet. This is still in display mode. So we have to pick the post button. And the post and save as dialog displays and it will default to the uh, folder where the part is located and for the current post we'll set it to shopbot g-code and we'll set the file extension to uh, .nc and we'll pick post. It'll calculate the post file and display it in notepad and what you see here this is a g-code file and what we have at the top is we have codes to uh, turn the printer on uh, zero out the uh, the X, Y, Z axes. This sets your uh, your temperatures. If you look down here on your printer control parameters, you'll see that you have temperature specifications for the extruder. We have it set to 210. The bed is set to 200. Uh, for the speeds, we have the perimeter speed set to 60, the infill speed set to 60, and then the uh, traversal movements set to 120. And you can see those values here. And then here's your first G-code line, and then your following G-code lines for each level. 
in the 3D print. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick start guide, and we got two more coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you. If you want more help with the product, you can visit us online at www.mexop.com. Thank you.